Hello, me again. Oh, my hair's so poofy. Okay, so me and my puppy, just there, you know. Um, okay, let me talk a little bit louder, because I always talk too low on these things, and my hair is a mess, and I cannot get over it. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm a bit of a freak. Um, yeah, I mean that. Um, yeah, I couldn't look any freakier right now. Um, yeah, I'm a little nervous about later, because it's like 3.16 in the morning here. Yeah, I'm nocturnal. Anyway, my nocturnalness. I'm screwed. T tomorrow, I'm screwed. I don't know what's with me in riding lately, but I almost died. <laughs> Pretty much, it felt like it anyway. On my show, heavy. Um, during my show, um, we do like little camp shows. Um, I was too old to go to camp. They let me do lessons. Long story. Um. Maddie is amazing, and I love her, but I don't know what's with her and oxers that are like three inches high. She cannot get over them for one reason or another, and I think she tried to switch her lead over it, and her hoof went right in the thing, and I could feel the impact, but um, I thought it was her back legs, and then she started to go down, and I'm like, we're dead. <laughs> but I don't. she caught us, because I didn't catch us, so I... I had no idea how to react to that situation because I, w I almost peed my pants. I was so scared. Like, it was not fun. And But thank God my mom was in the car because we had to bring our dog. Um, you can have a look at her. Abby, say hi to people. Abby, we got. And eh, she doesn't want. Alright. Anyway. My mom had to, oh, I'm so white. My mom had to, um, go to the car because her dog was panting like crazy lady. And they were thinking, oh my god, the dog's dehydrated. My dog just pants a lot. I don't know why. The only time she doesn't pant is when she's sleeping or half asleep like she is right now. My dog is always panting. But, you know, they did the right thing. I probably would have done too. If it wasn't my dog, I probably would have done too. So my mom had to sit in the car and um my friend Amy taped for me and it was really funny cuz like one of my friends um she said oh my god my dad almost freaked out when you almost fell and it actually happened twice the first time in the practice round Maddie got a little excited she jumped a little bit earlier than I expected her to and I thought I was gonna lose my stirrups but we recovered over the oxer and she did great. Now, don't criticize me for jumping as low as I jump. My instructor is very careful, mostly with me, and I love her to death. I love my instructor. But she is quite careful with how high I jump because my confidence is very low and she knows that if I fall, my confidence is smashed and she knows that can happen whenever but I mean I love her like I know she she only wants what's best for me she won't admit it but I know she does um if you like um OMG it's me time that's my friend Jilda and you can ask her she's dealt with my instructor before um how is she mm, she's a pretty good person um, well, my instructor and Jilda, they're both good people. Jilda thinks she's very photogenic with Maddie, because I have so many pictures of her and Maddie. And she's photogenic, but she's always hugging my pony. My pony hates everybody, so... <laughs> but she hates me, too, so it's all good. My horsey is very special. And I know she's gonna hate me when I get to the barn. She probably will not even let me on her, because she's been so back sore, so... If I ride her at all, it's going to be very light backing. Probably just a uh, walk trot. Maybe a little canter. The thing is, she loves to run out. And, like, even when I just want to do a walk trot and I know her back is sore, she says, Oh, Mommy, I'll go fast now. And she's gone. <laughs> she's just... I don't know. I love her. Like, but she's normal. She has, she's, a, she's a quarter horse. Like, 
she has like a very bouncy canner and then but the brakes are usually you get them right away one day i was letting her run out all of a sudden i realized i couldn't stop her she was just going i think she just went in a circle it wasn't like she was going anywhere like huge and i still had like control of her direction she wouldn't stop I had no brakes. I was terrified. And like these people were starting to come down the hill near the ring and I was like, if I get caught, I'm dead. But then I realized I wouldn't get in trouble as long as I wasn't full out literally galloping. She was just going a little quick at the canner and I wasn't half seat. But it wasn't like a gallop. If it was a gallop, believe me, I wouldn't know. It feels like one, but it's not. Anyway, so this is my blabber. Thank you, my dog is getting off the couch quite loudly. I was gonna sleep there. Oh, guess not. Yeah, I'm sleeping out on the couch so I can get up. Anyway, good night. Bye. And I will update you guys on the trail ride. Thank you, goodbye.